March 6, 2018. This is Dennis. He's Ukrainian, but now he lives with his wife and son in Alicante, Spain. He's a rather private person. He doesn't really leave the house. Right now, as per usual, he's coding new malware. He's one of the best of his trade. To keep a low profile, he does most of his spending in Bitcoin. At the time, he's worth 15,000 Bitcoins. In 2018, that was worth roughly $162 million. Today, it would be more than a billion. But there are some things that Bitcoin can't buy, so he needs to use real money to buy these, which leaves traces. This is what tipped off the police. They start to follow the money and eventually realize who he is. The authorities will seize two BMWs and jewelry, valued at half a million dollars, and of course, his Bitcoins. But the vast majority of the stolen $1 billion remains missing to this day. We think there was quite a big team, at least between 10 and 30 people all together that was able to pull this scheme off. The Carbonat group exploited a vulnerability in Microsoft Word, one that had already been fixed three years prior. So make sure to keep your systems up to date. It could save your employer a couple million.